Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Everything is Bad New Fangled Motion Picture Show. Welcome back one and all to uh, another episode of the Everything is Bad New Fangled Motion Picture Show. I'm your host, Niall. And I'm Nolan. And today, we gotta go fast. Because we're reviewing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Not Fast and the Furious. No. Okay. Uh, but it, but this one is all about family, so. Yeah, found family at that. Exactly. So, uh, before we get into it, we're going to do a spoiler-free review. And we'll give you a spoiler warning, and we'll go more in-depth into it after that. Um, that being said, uh, pretty predictable movie. Yeah. But it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a kid's movie. Um, we were probably the oldest people there that did not have kids with them. Yeah. Probably. So, uh, you know. But, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So we we probably went over this when we reviewed the first one. Um, we grew up with Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I, will, I will go on record saying this. Uh, the fan base deserves to be mocked. Some of the fan base, yeah. Yeah, a lot of the fan base deserves it. And it's fine. Uh... The the fine folks over at Sega openly mock the fan base of Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a fun movie. Uh, there's a whole lot of references, like just like the like the first one, it's just chock full of references to the games and stuff. Um, there were some pretty good Easter eggs in there too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, so like like uh, you know, the games. Like, so we get a sequel, and now we're being introduced to additional characters. We got. Knuckles and Tails in this one, and Knuckles. Yeah, because it's always and Knuckles. Right. Uh, and yeah, I mean, pretty cheesy, uh, silly storyline with some definite like Deus Ex Machina situations. Yeah, and Jim Carrey being a weirdo again. Yeah, but, but uh, it's it, it it's works. A fun, yeah, it works, and it's a fun performance to watch. Mm-hmm. And uh, I I gotta say this one definitely a lot more focus on Sonic Knuckles Tails and Robotnik and less a lot less of uh, the human James character. Marsden yeah and but yeah so I mean it's like I said full of references thoroughly enjoyable movie if you're already a fan of Sonic um, if you have kids or you are a kid. You know, definitely just, it's a fun kids movie, too. I mean, just even if you're not, like, a fan of Sonic already. Uh, and, yeah. Lots of cool Easter eggs. Although, I, I will say, I think they missed some pretty obvious opportunities for some additional Easter eggs. Yeah, what we were talking about, it'd be cool in some sequences that are clearly, you know, meant to be reminiscent of levels from the games or whatever, if they had done something... With remixes of the background music in those, mm-hmm. that could be a licensing thing. Yeah. Um. Though, and um. Yeah, but it would have been would have been neat to see some of that. Uh, but there, there was I mean, a lot there, there that was there, like, oh, that, that's funny because that's from that game. Well, there's a there's that, that the ringtone James Marsden's character's oh, yeah, ringtone his, on his cell, and this isn't a spoiler; it's in the trailer. Yeah, it's the um. Green Hill Zone, yeah, theme. And so that that's funny. Although I think I I probably would have picked like just the main Sonic theme, though. I don't know. I think a more subtle Easter egg is yeah. kind of it's a. I think it's a neater thing for the fans. Yeah, but also the the main Sonic theme is so like short. It works as a ringtone. Yeah, I think. Oh well. Uh, uh, either way, it was good. Yeah. Um it was, Yeah. It was pretty funny in places and there were um we noticed like it wasn't like a big problem with visual effects, but there were times when the interaction between the the animated characters and the humans wasn't quite meshing. Yeah, you know, um, that was yeah. That there were definitely like yeah some, and then like, and again, this is in the trailer, but there's that sequence where all that snow comes through that ring portal, yeah. and like that was like, ooh. I didn't think that was too bad. There were 
a time or two where probably whatever they were using as a stand-in for eyeline um didn't line up with what it ultimately wound up being so they're not looking directly at yeah the characters sometimes uh and so yeah i think that's probably an issue where whatever they had standing in like this is the eye line and it just didn't wind up being what what the animators had it at yeah uh sometimes like yeah and it, i mean it's hard but like especially when they make physical contact with yeah. them well yeah and like the the shadows that they cast on shadows were... shadows are always difficult yeah but some of some um, of these were particularly like messy yeah it just didn't really didn't look good but i mean it, it's the sonic the hedgehog movie it's not really that big a deal you're already suspending your disbelief by having these characters that are very cartoonish yeah be in there you know and, and so... thank goodness they were cartoonish because remember when they tried to make sonic like real looking yeah and, and everyone freaked out that was yeah like i was telling you earlier people were weirded out by the eyes and the teeth but i maintain the hands yeah were particularly creepy looking the hands were particularly egregious his legs were all like gross too oh they, they were, were all, like, all like so muscly they were so muscly and like yeah that makes sense but it's, i don't want to look at it right it looks weird yeah, remember he had like the super toned calves. Is is this where you're gonna be showing us a photo of the original? Oh, Sonic. I hadn't even. If thought you about remember it. to maybe put it in since you're the editor. Yeah, maybe. Um, uh, but yeah, that's like uh super, like just ugh. Yeah, like I this is just, I don't know what it was. There's something about like the super toned legs. With the, that, with like the fur and stuff, just like yeah. Remember that in the looking. trailer, there was that that back shot of him like stretching to like run. Yeah, and, and it's playing like Gangster's Paradise or something. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was, wasn't it? <laughs> like a weird choice of, of song for a children's movie, but okay. Uh yeah. Anyway, Sonic Two, I recommend it. It's yeah. pretty good. It's got a seven point one right now on imdb yeah 7.1 as, as of time of recording on imdb which eh, i'd say it's about right yeah it, it was fun i was fully entertained for half an hour, or an hour and a half or whatever it ran for oh it was over two hours really wow wow uh and just like you said there's just a lot of spots where you just kind of have to go like eh whatever with the story yeah but i mean it's fine what are you gonna do yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah, you got anything else to add to that before we go into the spoiler section? No. Nah. It's probably just gonna be us talking about all the Easter eggs. We, probably we liked, but so spoiler section then. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Sonic tapping his foot, being all impatient in the hologram. Yeah, there's a scene where Robotnik has a little hologram of Sonic um, displayed out like on a a map or something when they're tracking his location. Um, and it, yeah, it's just, it's just like the little Sonic. It looks like the Sonic from the, the old Sega game, the Genesis games. Um, or Mega Drive if you're outside the US. Uh, just tapping his foot impatiently. So... Yeah. Oh yeah, and then like the the airplane is obviously meant to look like the tornado, right? It even has like the little on the tail fin. It had the little um, checkpoint thing yeah. and everything. So yeah, that was a uh, obvious one. What else we got? Oh, in at the end when Robotnik forms this giant robot that looks like him, and it looks like the final boss from Sonic Two, but much bigger. Yeah. Uh, and he's inside, and he's got his um his minion guy yeah sycophant and he holds up the manual and it looks like the manual for oh, an old, yeah. old With genesis like the, game the, like black checkered border yeah and like the genesis logo at the top yeah yeah you we, that happened and you and i and like a, one or two other people i could hear were laughing at that and no one else was right you had to you had to be like <laughs> in your 30s to yeah for that but that yeah, was a pretty good joke. That was a pretty good one. Oh, the the coffee shop that his minions working at in his is absence the mean is bean. the mean bean, <laughs> which I'm like, that is such a great reference. 
Right, because it's like they must have decided to write a joke and then put him in the coffee shop, right? Yeah. yeah. I feel like... Well, no, because like in the first one, he was always making a specific coffee for Robotnik, Yeah, with like the steamed goat's milk. Right, so maybe that joke just kind of wrote itself. They'd be like, (gasps) perfect opportunity for a Mean Bean Machine reference. Yeah. You know, that... Yeah, so good. I do think they had a couple of missed opportunities for references that we were talking about. Yeah, several times Sonic um, falls in the water, is underwater, and he can't swim. It, it's like he's not buoyant at all, which, which makes, is how he is in the game. <laughs> right, which would make sense if your muscles were as lean as his must be. Right, and this dense, probably. But, you know, just like in the video games, he is not buoyant at all, and he can't swim. So he's terrified of water. Um, but it would have been funny to to have that that um drowning music. That drowning uh beat that da, 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 that's repeat that's getting more and more rapid. Yeah, that gives you anxiety as a kid. Yeah. That da, 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 They did da, have da, the da, thing da, da, where da. he he sucked in a bubble. Yeah. Like in the video game. Yeah. Well like as the thing from the game. Yeah. He did the thing. He did the thing. Uh yeah, and then there was a oh, there's a part where he like he's like snowboarding trying to get away from Knuckles, and he almost goes over a cliff edge, and his bag of rings goes flying. And they I like they missed an opportunity to make that ring noise, right? Or like a modified version of it or something. Yeah, but like we were talking about, it would have been cool to have the background music be a remix of the Ice Cap Zone theme, yeah, or something in that scene and. You know, there were several scenes that were definitely reminiscent of... Yeah. Oh, I mean, they they brought in Gun. Oh, yeah, Gun. a Sonic Adventure 2 fan. Yeah. Was uh, it like Guardians of Unified Nations or something like that? Something like that. Is there uh, definite a real backronym situation? <laughs> well, even like, he, the guy like says it, and then the, the, the girl's like... Sister. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so, some other character goes... She just like thinks about everything. It's like gun, like real incredulous. He's, she's just like she's just like really, and he goes gun, yes. <laughs> and he's all like proud of it. Or yeah, this it, this colonel or general or whatever. Yeah, so it's that guy from the that officer from the first one. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and then uh. Oh, we got a we got a speaking of Sonic Adventure two. We got a mid credit scene. We got a mid credit roll of uh, a reveal of Shadow the Hedgehog. I cannot wait for just just over the top like cringy angst, edge lord stuff. That's, that would be so hilarious. I I mean, like the people who write Sonic, like officially not fan fiction, um openly mock the characters like the stupidness of some of the characters and the fan bases that love some of these characters i think they have it in them to just make shadow the worst they need some like original character do not steal joke in there (laughs) somewhere (laughs) well we were saying how funny it would be to just like have some of the really awful sonic fan art like in sonic's room like fans have sent it to him yeah or something and he's like you know, he's so proud that someone would even go through the trouble of making fan art of him that he's not going to reject any of it. So, of course, he's going to put a Sanic Right, but he's going to have, like, a Sanic and different... <laughs> that yeah. would be great. Oh, man. That would that would be awesome. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, you got anything else to add to that? Uh, let's see. Other, are there like, any missed other... oppor- serious missed opportunities, missed opportunities, in your opinion? Nah... I don't think so. They made uh, Knuckles. My under- I haven't watched Sonic Boom, but my understanding is Knuckles is a doofus. Here's the thing. And they made him that way. Because in a lot of the games, Knuckles is introduced as an adversary to Sonic because he's being manipulated by Robotnik, which is how he's handled in, the, in this movie. Right. So he, make- you kind of have to make him dumb for that to work. Right, because Robotnik is so obviously evil. Right. He's like, I mean, he's a cartoon villain. Mustache yeah. and everything. Right. So, yeah, you would have to be an idiot to fall for it. So, like, this whole manipulating Knuckles into fighting Sonic thing only works if Knuckles is dumb. Well, it's like in Sonic 3, between Sonic 2 and Sonic 3, 
Robotnik's death egg, which is the Death Star, but Robotnik's face on it, yeah, crashes onto the floating island, and he convinces Knuckles, like, yeah, I'm a good guy, and this headshot guy showing up, he's gonna steal your Chaos Emeralds. You should yeah. go stop him. Meanwhile, I'm gonna steal the Chaos Emeralds and power my Death Star. Yeah. Oh, we did get a uh, Supersonic. Yeah, we got Supersonic. Sonic, uh... Absorbed the Chaos Emeralds energy and uh, did some like crazy supersonic Kicked stuff. Kicked the shit out of Robotnik's giant robot. Yeah. Oh, that was another opportunity I feel like they missed was not having the, the theme. Oh, yeah. The, for that the supersonic thing. Like I said, I think, I think there was probably a licensing issue with the music. I hate that when when someone makes a movie based off of an IP and they're like, can get the light? Like, happened to Castlevania. Yeah, it happened to Castlevania. The only thing they could afford was... Um, well, they could only afford, like, two songs. Right, so they had... Uh, was it Blood of Tears or whatever they did that everyone, like, went crazy over Yeah. in season two. And But people were like, where's the rest of the Castlevania music? And the producer talked about how it's like where's vampire slayer right and there's like well we could only afford the vampire killer what's that vampire killer vampire killer yeah we only afford the one or two songs from konami because otherwise it's either that or we reduce the quality of the animation yeah because that's how expensive the music was Konami, konami's so ridiculous with that man yeah they're they're one of the worst uh so it's like, you think a show as popular as that, you would put the extra effort into letting them have the... I can understand, like, all right, the first season, you hold off on letting them use things without paying for it. But then, when it's getting to the fourth season, you could be like, here, use some of this music. We're not doing anything with it. Yeah, I mean, Konami's literally not doing anything with any of the Castlevania license anyway. Yeah, except occasionally re-releasing old ones on Steam or something. Yeah. But, um... Anyway, enough ranting about Konami. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to add about Sonic 2. I'll probably think of some some Easter egg or something after we finish recording. But Yeah. Alright, so the next movie we're seeing probably The Northman. Uh, oh man, yeah, in two weeks. That's that busy weekend. Because we're not... We... We're not saying Secrets of Dumbledore. Like, that second Fantastic Beasts movie was awful. And uh, pretty pissed at Warner Brothers for their team. Yeah, despite this new one looking a lot better than the previous yeah. one. Yeah, I... And it's not just what they did to Johnny Depp. It's but a it, number of things. Yeah. Well, and it's like Ezra Miller's in it. And mm. Warner Brothers, like, tried to cover up Ezra Miller, like, violently attacking multiple people. Yeah. Dude's a freak. Um Anyway, so yeah, the next so in a couple weeks, uh we've got the Northmen. Uh the unbearable weight of massive talent. And the bad guys. Which the meta score on the bad guys looks pretty low, but it's got Sam Rockwell in it, man. Of course we're interested, you know? Yeah, anything with Sam Rockwell. Um and then we got Memory, which is like just a super generic looking Liam Neeson movie. Looks like a Liam Neeson movie. Yeah. You know exactly what that means. Yep. Don't act like that doesn't describe the movie exactly. Uh, we got Doctor Strange coming out. You really need to watch the rest of What If. I watched another episode uh, yesterday. All right. How many you got left? Um, I've only watched two episodes. Man, you got to get on that. I'm telling you. It's going to be important for that movie. Do I just need to watch the one with Doctor Strange, or do I need to watch all of it? So they all connect at the end. Oh, okay. So I think there's nine episodes. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, probably not saying Firestarter. Um, we got Top Gun Maverick at the end of May, and Bob's Burgers movie. And we're probably seeing Jurassic World Dominion, right? Yeah. We're definitely seeing Lightyear. At least Jurassic World Dominion looks better than that previous one. Which, which we did we, not see. Which we did not see, but I've heard nothing good about it. Dude, are we seeing this new Minions movie in July? I really don't care. <laughs> oh, man. 
You got Thor Love and Thunder coming up too. That I'm definitely seeing. Is this the wrong place? Is this Bruce Willis' last movie? Maybe. Because he's, he's quitting, right? Yeah, for medical reasons. Mm. Not like Jim Carrey, he's just tired of it all. No, it looks like he's got like four movies after that. They're probably already so, shot. Yeah, yeah, they're all in post-production. Yeah. I think he did just... He just did a marathon of movies um, just so he can get like build up like money in the bank or something. Yeah. Um, and then we got Bullet Train at the end of July. Yeah, that looks cool. That movie looks cool, dude. Like, I feel like I I like Brad Pitt a lot more than I used to. I never disliked Brad Pitt. I was kind of indifferent. Right. But then I, I was I the think, same way. I think Fight Club is the first movie where I was like, you know what, Brad Pitt's pretty cool. No, I mean it's just like because Fight Fight Club was twenty years ago. Yeah, something like that. Probably. I, I feel like it was a more recent thing that made me decide like Snatch maybe. Snatch was almost twenty years ago too. Mm. I don't know. But um anyway, Brad Pitt like actually starting to look his age, that bastard. Tom Cruise too. Finally. Yeah, but like the thing Brad Pitt, like no homo, but I think he like looks better. He looks better. Like he's more handsome. You know? I mean it could be a little homo. I mean, a little bit, I guess, but... <laughs> uh, but, yeah, like... No, I think you're right. I think I think he looks more distinguished. Yeah. Uh, there was someone else, too, recently that were like, oh, that person's finally looking their age. Something, someone we saw recently that's just always looked young. I don't know. I forget who it was. Um, but, yeah, so that's what we got coming up. So if any of that sounds of interest to you... We are not seeing DC League of Super Pets, by the way. That movie looks awful. As much as I would see just about any movie with Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart in it, I am not seeing that movie. So, um, anyway, so that's what we got coming up for the next few months. So if any of that sounds of interest to you, uh, check that out. Hit that subscribe button, I guess. The bell. Uh, and uh, go check out our other ones. What was our last review, Nolan? Morbius. Oh, were you ready for it or did you just remember? I uh Did you have to go look it up? I pregamed. Yeah, 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 to go look it up. You didn't remember. <laughs> I don't know if I would have or not, but I I checked before it's a we started. Pretty forgetful this. movie. It feels like it was a long time ago since we saw Morbius. So, uh yeah, check out other reviews, come back, check out our upcoming reviews, uh cuz we see lots and lots of movies. Yep. It's kind of our thing. So, uh until next time. Thanks for listening. Bye. Toodles. Thank you.